I am Count Augustin Horesty, the founder of Buena Vista Winery in 1857. Visit my winery in Sonoma at 18,000 Old Winery Road. Enjoy my delicious wine and a play written by a local playwright. Hear ye, hear ye. About to begin is an epic play, an entertainment that shall tell the history of wine in the Sonoma Valley and the Count of Buena Vista. The Count was born in Hungary in 1812. As a young man, he engaged in the family business, growing wheat in the Baxas region of Hungary, where he also grew grapes and made wine. And for the rest of his life, it would be his passion for the grape that would lead him from place to place. Wisconsin would be the Count's first home in America, and he soon threw himself into a whirlwind of activity. He bought land, surveyed and laid out a town called Harrisley. Successful from the start, he built a mill and started the first steamboat shipping line on the Wisconsin River. He also owned a river ferry, a brickyard, and a thriving real estate business. The Count returned to Hungary to bring back not only his wife and three children, but also his father and his mother as well. Mother, father, I have returned from America. This land of opportunity and freedom is open to any man. Family, the discovery of gold has changed everything. We are going to move to California. And now our story shifts to the very ground beneath your feet. This valley, perfect for the grapes, this Sonoma Valley. My dear Count, I think you will find that you have finally found a place where your enterprising spirit can exert its authority. I believe this to be the case, General Vallejo. Sonoma Valley is the perfect wine land upon this earth. But I have not come to Sonoma just to make great wine, General Vallejo. I have come to build an industry. I believe that with the proper assortment of foreign grapevines and modern European viticultural techniques, that California can produce more dollars worth of raisins, grapes, and brandy even more than that of gold. Hear, hear! It is May 1st, 1863, and as it sometimes is with synchronicity, two gentlemen friends, grown older and gallant by time and opportunity, sit once again over lunch and a bottle of wine to discuss the upcoming wedding of Attila and Arpad Harasli with Jovita and Natalia Vallejo. It was to be the double wedding of the century. My dear Augustan, in six years you have transformed this sleepy valley and brought European wine techniques to California. Coming from you, this is a great honor, my friend Mariano. Oh, but much more. Now, your Buena Vista is the largest vineyard in the world. You have dug wine caves built gravity-fed stone wineries next to them, brought many of those viticulture techniques from Europe, including the very unique way of planting the grapes closer together to stress them, to reduce the yield, but to increase the quality. You have been named the commissioner of the California Agricultural Society, which you founded, mm. also commissioner with the state assembly, traveling to Europe, bringing back many, many vinifera vines, some of which <coughs> reside at my <laughs> winery. Shh, shh. Take a sip, surely you <laughs> shall overheat. But you stop me before I get to the best part. The wedding one month from today of your two sons to my daughters. This is surely the best part. You have incorporated this into the Buena Vista Viticultural Society yes. with 6,000 shares at $100 each. Yes. That's an incorporation of $600,000, unheard of. Would you like me to reserve a share for you? You make that 100 shares. 100 shares, <laughs> yes indeed. But at the height of our hero's success, tragedy. It had been lurking on the edges of the Count's life since 1860. At first, only a few vines turned brown, grew weak, died. He pulled them up 
planted new ones. By the middle 1860s, whole rows of vines had turned yellow and the grapes were tiny with no flavor. He would never know that it was an extremely small aphid, an extraordinarily nasty bug that killed vines by strangling their roots. Worst of all, it was the Count's new European technique that was being blamed for this unknown vine disease. For the Count did what he had done many times since 1840. He moved on, went someplace new. He had been intrigued for years with Central America. On July 6, 1869, Count Augustin Harristhe set out on muleback to explore his plantation. While crossing an alligator-infested stream by way of a large tree limb used as a natural bridge, he slipped and fell. His body was never recovered. Thus ended the life of our hero, Count Augustin Harristhe, the father of California viticulture and founder of this magnificent Buena Vista winery. I have returned to life, brought back to life by none other than John Charles Boisset, the amazing Frenchman who has purchased Buena Vista Winery and is in the midst of renovating it. And to see my grapevines flourishing upon the hillsides once again, the American bug, Phylloxera vasatrix, the cause of all my unhappiness, tamed by American rootstock, an elegant and just solution. And now that I have returned to life, I'm able to bring forth wines I never dreamed of making. Wines from all over Sonoma County as well as Carneros. Life is good. It is wonderful for me to be back. Thank you all for coming to this place.